online viewers welcome to our lecture video in this lecture video we are going to find the total elongation of this bar and we have been given the young's modulus velocity e equals to 2.1 into 10 to the power 5 newton per mm square so we have here over three sections the first section consists of portion ab the second portion consists of portion bc and the third portion is the portion cd so if you look at our first portion our first portion is simply a rectangular steel bar which has which has diameter 26 mm and a force of 50 kN, a tensile force of 50 kN is acting at side A and similarly for our section CD, our section CD is a similarly a another steel bar another steel bar which has length 0.8 meter and a tensile force of 50 kN is acting at the portion D and we have diameter of 18 mm and now for our portion BC what you can see is we have 26 diameter at the portion B and it and it is uniformly tapering or the diameter is uniformly decreasing to side C and the, and the diameter at side C is 18 mm so our portion BC is a uh, is an uniformly tapering circular bar so we have steel bar for section 1 and uniformly tapering circular bar for section BC and for our section section 3 we have another rectangular bar and they have respective length of 1 meter, 1.2 meter and 0 0.8 meter. So firstly we are going to draw the figure for our section section first. So for our section first, so let me draw it in this way for, for section first. So for our section first we are going to draw our figure in this way. So So we have our diameter 26 mm and we have the length 1 meter and as you can see our force of 50 kN is acting at side A. So since this whole uh, since this whole diagram is in equilibrium since the whole body is in equilibrium a force of 50 kN must act at the right in order to maintain equilibrium. So this is our figure for portion first. Now we'll uh, now we'll calculate the ex uh, now we'll calculate the uh, elongation of portion first. So in order to calculate the elongation, so we're going to unit it by del one. So we have del one will be simply equal to we have our formula p one l one divided by a one e one. So we have p one as fifty kilonewton. So I'm going to write it down fifty into ten to the power three converting kilonewton into newton into l one is one meter one into uh, 10 to the power 3 I am converting meter into millimeter divided by a1 so our diameter is given as uh, 26 mm so pi by 4 into d square is 26 square so this is in mm we are not going to change it into we have our Young's modulus as 2.1 into 10 to the power 5 newton per mm square so as you see over here we have our Young's modulus of elasticity and diameter in millimeter so we converted our 1 meter into millimeter as well by multiplying it by into 10 to the power 3 and if we solve this we are going to get our del 1 as 0 0.448 mm so what the, what we can see over here is the uh, elongation of the portion AB or elongation of section 1 uh, which is denoted as del 1 will be simply equal to 0 0.448 mm now we'll look for our section 2 section 2 for our section 2 so for our section 2 for section 2 what we simply have over here is for our section 2 we have our diameter 26 mm at side BC and it is uniformly tapering or the diameter is uniformly decreasing so we have a uh, diameter 26 mm over here and we have diameter 18 mm over here and we have our length as 1.2 meter so as we discussed previously in our lecture video or the deformation for our uniformly tapering circular bar uh, del 2 will be uh, del 2 is uh, given as we have our formula del 2 equals to 4 p2 l2 divided by a2 e2 divided by pi e d1 d2 so we have our del 2 as a uh, 4 p uh, 4 p2 l2 divided by pi e d1 d2 uh, and if you want to know how the deformation uh, for our uniformly uh, tapering tapering circular ball will be equal to 4 pl divided by pi e uh, d1 d2 you can find the link to that uh, link to that proof in the description box below so we have finally our uh, del 2 as this will be equal to 4 into we for our uh, p2 as you can see over here since a uh, force of 50 kN is uh, so let me draw let me write over this is my portion ab and this is my portion b bc uh, since a force of 50 kN is acting at the right so let me draw it to draw in 
over here drawing my actual figure so what we have over here is since a force of 50 kilo newton is acting at the left in order to maintain equilibrium a force of 50 kilo newton is acting at the right must act at the right but as you can see here no such force exists so in order to so in order to maintain our equation we write 50 kN at the left so as you can see here 50 kN is acting in the portion A and in order to maintain equilibrium a force of 50 kN must act at the right but no such forces exist so in order to balance this force we have to write a we have to write a force of 50 kN which will cancel which will cancel this previous force at uh, acting in the left direction in such way only we can support such forces similarly so in our what, what we see in our uh, portion b a uh, force of 50 kN is acting at the left this is because the force acting at the right 50 kN is already written over here so the remaining force is the 50 kN acting at the left which we have written over here so in order to maintain equilibrium likewise in the portion c a force of 50 kN must act at the right so as you can see here in this portion as well for our final portion as well a force of 50 kN is acting at the right so in order to maintain equilibrium a force of 50 kN must act at the left but no such forces act at C and we cannot suppose forces in such a way so we need to suppose another force of 50 kN acting at the right so in such a way only we can suppose uh, such forces 50 kN acting at the left and 50 kN acting at the right so for our so for our portion C we are going to take the force of 50 kN acting at the right so we have written it down over here and now we are simply going to calculate our del 2 for our uniformly tapering circular bar which will be equal to 4 into our P2 is 50 kN we convert kN into Newton by multiplying it by 10 to the power 3. Next what we have is we have L2 as 1.2 meter into 10 to the power 3 we are converting meter into millimeter divided by pi will be simply equal to pi into we have our E as 2.1 into 10 to the power 5 newton per mm square and we have our d1 and d2 as 26 mm and 18 mm respectively so we'll simply write that as 26 into 18 so we get uh, this to be equal to 0 0.777 mm so now we are done with our section 1 section 2 now we'll be solving for our section 3 so our section 3 is quite similar to as that of section 1 so i am doing my section 3 over here for section 3 what we have for our section 3 is we have our uh, figure in this way we have our uh, steel bar of diameter 18 mm this is my portion cd and a force of 50 kN is acting at the right and i explained before uh, since uh, in order to maintain equilibrium a force of 50 kN must act at the act at the left so let me simply suppose 50 kN so I have already supposed this 50 kN over here so the remaining 50 kN is supposed over here and we can have this logic as well in our section D we have a force of 50 kN acting at the right and, and therefore in order to maintain equilibrium a force of 50 kN must act at our section C so we can use that logic as well now we have our del 3 as so this is our uh, this is our steel bar and it has and it is not uniformly tapering so we have uh, it has the same diameter 18 uh, 18 mm uniformly so we have our del 3 similarly as that of section 1 which will be simply equal to p3 l3 divided by a3 e3 so we have our p3 as 50 into 10 to the power 3 into l3 okay i have written my l3 so my l3 is given equation as 0 0.8 meter 0 0.8 meter so and this will be uh, simply equal to uh, 50 into 10 to the power 3 into 0 0.8 into uh, 10 to the power 3 into 10 to the power 3 converting meter into millimeter divided by our area will be pi by 4 into d square is 18 square into Young's modulus velocity is 2.1 into 10 to the power 5 on solving this we are going to get our value as 0 0.748 mm so in order to find total elongation of the bar our total elongation is denoted as del and so simply equal to del 1 plus del 2 plus del 3 and this will be equal to we have our del 1 value as 0 0.448 mm plus del 2 value is 0 0.777 mm plus del 3 value is 0 0.748 mm on adding all this we are going to get our total elongation of the bar as 1.973 mm so hope you have understood how the elongation of the bar is uh, understood uh, and if you have any queries we can comment down below and if you like our content do subscribe to the channel uh, it will motivate me to up upload more similar videos thank you